the exclusive story. If someone says iron to you, the first thing that might come to mind is Iron Man, or rust, or maybe the element symbol. Most people would probably not think of ferritin, although it has such a close relationship to iron. Ferritin is like an undercover agent of iron that nobody knows about, and this is the exclusive scoop. Ferritin is important because iron is important, so let's find out why iron is crucial for the body. Iron is necessary for oxygen transport in the blood because iron is the central atom of the heme group. No iron would result in no site for oxygen to bind, so oxygen can't be delivered to cells. This would result in the cells dying. In addition to this important job, iron also has many other uses. Proteins needed for DNA synthesis and cell division rely on iron, and iron is used to help produce the connective tissues in our body, some neurotransmitters in our brain, and to maintain the immune system. The main purpose of ferritin is to store the iron and release it in a controlled fashion. Ferritin provides a reserve of iron that can be used when needed for synthesis of molecules like hemoglobin, cytochromes, and iron sulfur compounds. Ferritin is made up of 24 peptide subunits that assemble into a hollow sphere, and there are two main chains. Alpha helices comprise the molecule, and the molecule is split into five helical regions. There are four long helices that make a four helix bundle. A structural motif in ferritin is a globin fold. There is a light chain of 19 haldaltons that is used mainly in core formation and has more of a storage role. Ferritins rich in L chains tend to be in the spleen and liver because these areas are large storage areas. There is also a heavy chain of 21 keldaltons that is more active in iron metabolism. Ferritins rich in H chains tend to be in the brain and heart because these areas require lots of oxygen. The H chain has a specific site called the ferroxidase center. This site is for the formation of cluster of two iron ions and is essential for ferritin's role in iron homeostasis. Current models propose that two iron-2 molecules bind to the ferroxidase center and are oxidized by molecular oxygen to Fe3. After this oxidation, the product spontaneously leaves the center as a unit and migrates to the cavity where it nucleates and aggregates to form the iron core. Channels form at the intersection of three or four peptide subunits. There are two types of channels, three-fold channels and four-fold channels. Three-fold channels are polar because it is lined with aspartate and glutamate. Iron leaves ferritin through these channels. Four-fold channels are nonpolar because it is lined with leucine. Electrons are transferred through these channels to reduce the Fe3 to Fe2. Iron is stored in the positive 3 oxidation state in the mineral ferrohydrate as a crystalline solid. The chemical formula is that. The protein shell of ferritin can encapsulate up to 4,500 iron atoms, although naturally occurring ferritin tends to not have more than 3,000. In order to release iron, the oxidation state must be changed from positive 3 to positive 2, and then iron can leave through the aforementioned channels. The oxidation has state has to be changed because the iron atoms are insoluble as long as the lattice is intact. The mineral lattice has to be dissolved, and this is accomplished by reducing the iron because the positive 2 charge attracts the electronegative oxygen atoms in water, forming a water cage around the ion. Iron becomes a soluble hydrated Fe positive 2 ion and then can be released from ferritin through the channels. Ferritin is a superhero for our bodies. It helps protect against complications of iron deficiency anemia and hemochromatosis. Abnormal ferritin levels are associated with many other diseases like Stills disease, Parkinson's disease, sideroblastic anemia, Friedrich's ataxia, and restless leg syndrome. Circulating ferritin can be classified as serum ferritin and tissue ferritin, and serum ferritin is a good indicator of iron stores in the body. Ferritin storing iron is important because free iron is toxic because it can react with peroxides and form free radicals that can damage DNA, proteins, and other cell components. The spontaneous oxidation to Fe3 from Fe2 will donate single electrons to transform H2O2 into a highly toxic radical. This reaction is called the Fenton reaction. Ferritin saves the body from this toxic reaction by storing the iron so that it won't react with H2O2 to form the OH radicals. So that's the scoop on ferritin. Coolest Thanks for watching. Makes you feel he's a cool exec with a heart of steel. And Iron Man of Jets of Blazing.
Peace.